Farmers, this is Wade from K Farmhouse bringing you our weekly war recaps. This is uh, unfortunately uh, one and one. Uh, the, the results were one and one in this video. Um, so we will get started here and look at some attacks. Uh, we're going to look first at number 18, and this was done by Brewmaster. Brewmaster does a bow witch and um, does a really good job with this one. I miss these weekend wars on the farm because I'm in MLCW, but uh, these guys are doing great. Even though they didn't get the win, they're doing really good attacks. And now the golems come down in front. Baby drags are, are uh, helping with the funnel here. And here comes the siege barracks. Witches are gonna go down the side of the base Something's going to break in here in a second. There it is. Now the base has been broken into and everything can kind of split off and do what it's going to do. As you can see, the Archer Queen and the the uh, the uh some of the witches are going down the side. You got the bowlers and everything in the core here. Uh, Brew does this interestingly because he doesn't take uh, CC troops. Or he, I mean, not CC troops. He doesn't take jumps. He just lets his uh, his defenses do the, his uh, main thrust do the work of breaking through the wall. Has these bowlers and and pekas and whatnot bouncing on these this Tesla farm and the multi-target inferno, and now everything's breaking around the side here. Pekka rolling through. <clears throat> these bowlers are about to take out that multi-target inferno. So, and now everything is rolling through. Sorry, that was a MLCW message talking about doing a friendly tomorrow night. I don't know if I will or not. We will see. And now, I mean, look at all these skeletons that are left. Once you get around... And this wizard tower gets taken out. Uh, the bomb tower is the only thing left, and it's not going to stand up to that archer queen. So, really nice job there, Brew. And then let's go up. We got two more attacks in this war. We're going to look at uh, MTG 3.0 doing a mass hog here. And it's interesting the way this attack rolls out. Golems come down, setting a funnel. And he's going to funnel into this area right here <clears throat> with his uh, with his push. He doesn't have a jump. Um, and so, as you will see, here comes the uh, stone slammer. It's going to break in, activates the eagle. Uh, so the barb king rolls in. The archer queen has been taken out, so that's nice. Here comes the clan castle. Poison goes down on them, plus a freeze. Let's see what's in this, in the stone slimmer. Uh, hogs. So these hogs are going to rip through this section right here. Archer queen still rolling. And here comes the main thrust of the hog attack. It's going to take out this multi-target inferno. There's one more up here with the eagle. So heel drops. The Archer Queen's still rolling through to clean up stuff underneath here. And I believe, yep, going to swarm into the eagle. Eagle is gone. Those That group of hogs get caught on a tornado trap. Not a problem. They're out. Still has a heel and a freeze left. So no problem getting through this. Uh, Tesla farm with the uh, with the Archer Tower, so nice freeze there, and the hill comes down, and now it's just a matter of getting through the rest of the base. So it has some some wizards and archers and things uh, helping with clean up on the backside over here. Hogs are going to finish off those skellies, and now the base is finished. So interesting base design there that could. That could be a little bit of a problem if you're not familiar with it, but good job to MTG. Uh, rolling through. Uh, 
and let's speed it up a little bit because we are cleaning up and there is one builder tower one builder hut builder tower one builder hut and that is it so good job mtg we got one more we're going to look at from this war and this is kesla kesla hits this base with a quad quite peck yeti smash charge Oh, didn't mean to click on that my bad uh so i mean this is a pretty high level base as you can see balloon comes down to soak up any uh any extra traps or anything like that this e-drag is going to start tearing all this stuff up that little archer tower is just pecking away at it i don't know if anybody's seen it if you're watching this recap and haven't seen it yet i do a, a recap or a a uh a video on a strategy i've been using lately uh for farming it's a um it's a mass e-drag attack if anybody's interested if you're at town hall 11 or above and can access uh electro drags it's a really fun attack it's really successful it's been really good for me lately farming um so check that out it's on my page i think it's uh, the third video from the top because I've got the uh, MLCW recap and then that one. So, uh, Town Hall goes down. The Yetis are rolling through. Uh, here come the Hogs on the back end. That is single target Infernos, which is very interesting. Typically don't see those. You typically see multi-targets. So, um, already popped the Royal Champion ability. But, I mean, going to get the eagle here, and now um, it's just a matter of finishing off the rest of the base. There is a single target Inferno up here. That heal is down for the hogs. There's no more spells left, so it'll be interesting to see where we go from here and how the uh, Royal Champion deals with this single target Inferno up here. Once that bad boy goes down, there's no more problem. Uh, Barb King breaks through. Uh, gets taken out, but there are a lot of yetis in this section. Still has healers healing them up as well. So uh, the the they, those defenses are targeting the yetis and things. So the royal champion was safe. Now she's gone. Uh, we're waiting on these yeti to break through the wall here, which they have. Lots of little barbarians rolling around with them. There's a Yeti mite running, saying, I'm coming to get you. Boo. Anyway, sorry about that. That was stupid. Uh, just clean up now. And uh, Archer Queen's going to get the Wizard Tower here in a second. That, that uh, double cannon's going to maybe kill that Grand Warden quickly. But... And there's the end of the attack. So really nice job there, Kesla. Uh, good attack there. We got one, two more attacks we're going to look at in another war. Um, let me see. All right. So this one was a victory against Indo Mafia, and I swear we faced Indo Mafia before. I think I've done a recap against them. I'm not sure. All right. The first one we're going to look at is from Reggae Shark. And Reggae does an Electron Lalo. I love these kinds of attacks. They're so much fun to watch, uh, the, the Electron Lalo attacks. Um, he's going to run his Battle Blimp in here. Uh, interestingly, there's some dead spaces there. And so uh, Reggae was able to uh, drop balloons in there as the, uh, the Battle Blimp was rolling through. And it uh, it saved his. Uh, it, he was able to drop troop the balloons to soak up, you know, damage and things like that. So not the best base design, but that's okay. Barb King and Archer Queen come down. This is going to be a Sui uh, hero. Uh, and here comes the loons and the lava hounds. Here they come. So. Probably misplaced that haste there, uh, as you can see. I had to drop a balloon in there. Uh, still has the Archer Queen running around and her ability. Grand Warden's down. Pops the ability there. Archer Queen's going to come down here and take out this ex the, the air defense. 
which now there's some more air defenses. So uh, it's really nice there. Really nice of her to do that for, for the balloons. So the uh, balloons are about to take out the Eagle artillery and has some cleanup troops up top. And uh, that Arctic Queen is going to run down here on the bottom. There's really nothing that's going to pop those uh, those lava hounds now. Unfortunately, it'd have been nice to to have those there for cleanup, but the lava pups. But it's okay. He's got a mass of balloons. He's got some wizards and baby dragon and things like that for cleanup. So really nice job there, Reggae. Let's speed it up a little bit. And that's all she wrote for this base. And one more, we're going to look at 4 Ink. And 4 Ink does a witch slap. I love these kinds of attacks. I remember when I was a Town Hall 9, I was witch slapping everybody. So uh, unfortunately for this base, there was an open spot up here in this corner, which allowed his witches to get in. So they're going to start here. Starts his other part of his witches down here, Barb King. Uh, uh, wall wrecker, and now he's going to push towards the core. Just rolling through. Healers keeping the the witches up. Stop the wall wall breaker. The uh, wall wrecker is just pounding everything, helping everything get into that core, and it's in there. It made it even though it's about to get taken out. Drops the rage in the heel for the uh, for the bowlers that are in the, the wall wrecker. And nice freeze on that E-drag as well. Another one there. He's about to get taken out now. And now there's just so many witches and, and skellies are just going to tear everything up in this base. So all the, the big problems, all the, one, the troops that would be, uh, or the defenses that would be a problem are gone now. That Barb King's pounding away at the wall. He's got a couple of healers on him to help him. And now we're just rolling through the base. That Barb King's going to help with clean up a lot too because he's going to get these this stuff taken out right here. These high level, uh, these high hit point structures, the storages and everything. So that's a nice added bonus. And look at all these skeletons coming. Goodness gracious. Whew. Nice drop of those barbarians. And then that wiz they, the wizard is supposed to take out that cannon or something. And they just decided to run away, unfortunately. So Barb King is really struggling right now because that air sweeper is pushing the healers away. But he's, he's tough. He's going to hang around. Parp's... Pops the Archer Queen ability. There went a witch to a spring trap, but the, gosh, look at how many witches are left. All oh, these skellies. They're just going to keep summoning them and summoning them and summoning them, and it's never going to end. So, really nice job there, Four Ink. And that's all she wrote. That base was cooked. All right, so, um, sorry I missed the. Uh, get in the video for the war earlier in the week. I will try to see if I can find some sort of video editor where I can put videos together uh, so that I can have longer ones for recaps. So I'm sorry if, you know, I, I missed your attack. I, I had a six pack in the uh, Monday, in the, the Tuesday war last week and uh, I didn't get to show it. So you might think it doesn't exist. It does, I promise it does. I got a six pack, so, uh, but, um, I'll see if I can find something to, to edit videos together and then make longer videos from that. But anyway, this is Wade from K Farmhouse wishing everybody a great week, great warring, everybody. Uh, good luck in all your attacks, and we'll see you again soon. Bye, everyone.